Get him, Father Bill. Auto combat. Damn it, my fart. Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to episode 15 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders Planetfall. We are on Komen's Retreat, we are controlling Gertie Badger, and we are at war with uh, Zana Cerber and Tick, Tick Galux or something up here. So we have fought something of uh, Tick. Yeah, he sent some units down here, took Bug Zapper, the city made to defend against bugs and was lost to bugs. And then we took it back with our powerful new units here. We only had five, but we still were able to beat, beat them up pretty easily because we are way more powerful than their units they were sending down. Tanky, but not very powerful. Uh, Zana has not really done much. She does have a handful of units on the horizon in this area. We're trying to keep an eye on them with our detector. And we are also um, defending against these stupid apostates that keep coming in. Hopefully they actually attack me here so I can get rid of them finally. Uh, confirm movement. We have a right. Yeah, we're going up here to ask these guys to leave so we can get control of the Cosmite. Hello? Yeah. And uh, what else do we have going on? we got a lot of Marauders here in Opal Dome. Like a lot. Three stacks of them here. So we can't leave this area right now. We've got a pretty powerful militia, but we can't really afford to leave here. This army is not strong enough, actually, to deal with too many of these. We have this Shattered Ark that we were going to send up to be part of that. But again, there's so many Marauders around here. Like here's Apostates. Yeah, I can't really leave here. Really got to clear these gold sites out and stop these apostate armies from spawning. They're spawning from here. They're spawning from... Well, that's it, actually. Is there anything up here they're spawning from? No. So they're spawning from Blackguard Citadel and just wandering around. They're spawning from Tower of Trials and they're spawning from Throne of the Vile Seat. And once we get rid of those three, we won't have to deal with apostates down here anymore, it looks like. Looks like the rest of them are bronze or not near us. Okay. Um, so orders required. We have a single electrocutioner who looks like they are trying to head up here to be part of this army. A bug Zapper. We have this unit here, which is just kind of keeping an eye on her territory. Let's just pop down here. Anybody around here? Doesn't look like it. You guys are waiting there. Sample collection's done. Uh, okay. All right, and turn. We have a rather powerful apostate army attacking X-Ray Desert right here. I'm going to auto this. Oh, we actually won. That was a little surprising. Okay, never mind. I don't have to go and retake it. Um, the, That should be easy as well, as long as we don't lose the Electrocutioner. Yep, easy. Easy peasy. Hopefully the AI has some sort of <laughs> drive to keep your actual units alive over your militia. That seems to happen. I don't know if it's a coincidence. Okay, two. These two units are almost as powerful as my militia. Oh, my God. Um, no, that's stupid. Let's do that manually. Oh, God. Chalices are such a nightmare because they eat, they eat metal. So I believe that my assembly submarines are actually metal, unlike everything else that's cyborgs. Let me, let me check that. Storm waiter militia. Heavy... Cyborg. No, it is a cyborg. So this is a person. It's a person's body. But do chelises eat non-metal as well? Cyborg or mechanical. Shit. So that's the problem. Okay. So they do have a hull spike. They can fire this powerful thing in. Bypasses a couple points of armor. Whales have a, a, a glob as well. And they can blind things. So unfortunately, my flyer is not like super useful here because they can actually take this thing down pretty easily it's not very tanky it's got the health of a tier one the defenses of a tier one essentially the lightning rider there so let's go ahead and put this guy over here in cover here's our more powerful one this one can create a water construct which we might make I think this is a little bomb that blows up that we made here. Yeah, it's a little bomb. Operations ready. Can I shredder bomb them? 
I can. It's got a decent chance at bleed. Okay, we got bleeding on the Octo Whale. So that's good. That'll help out a little bit. We probably have kinetic in here somewhere. Yep, there's a little bit. This guy cannot quite get there to blow up. So let's um Let's back up like just a tad. Not defense mode, let's pop the overcharge thing. What's this do? Is this just around it? Wrecking shot at the target. Disable line of sight. What's the. Okay, it's a short range. No line of sight. Okay. They have an AoE. No. Okay. It's just coming in. Oh, they're going for the aerial unit. Oh, look, they're smart enough to body block that bomb. That's fascinating. Blinded. Okay. We'll take an opportunity attack if we try to walk past here, so we can't do that. Now, this attack does massive impact stagger. So if I go over here, but I'm blinded, so I really need this to hit. Okay, a miss and a graze. Damn, that sucks. Um... What do we have here? Storm call, high impact stagger. This could electrify, that's helpful. Or do we want to just do damage? Ooh, it's not much damage. Let's do this one. Okay, electrified on this one, so it'll take more electric damage. That's good. This one's not electrified. What's better here? This could disable it, but it only has a 40% chance to hit. Oh my god, these things are so strong. So we got Haunting Melody on this one now, so it's got a um, minus two resistances and 40% fumble chance, so that should help. help. Okay, it didn't fumble. Let's try to get the Disable. It's got a 79% chance to Disable if it hits, which is the big if here. It grazed, but it did disable. So that's pretty fantastic, actually. I want to get to here. Unit okay. down. This is going well. This operations helped immensely. That one's disabled, so it has to just walk away. Bleeding and electrified, so they're taking kind of pretty decent dot damage here. Let's scoot up, and we've got an 85% chance that should be mathematically impossible to fail. Okay, so we want to scoot up, and we're just going to blast... Oh, 5% chance I shouldn't have clicked. Yeah, that's... Well, at least I got 3 damage out of it. Um, that's a bad chance to hit. Oh my god. Can we shoot the cover? Take that out. We're, we're getting there. Slowly. I was going to come over here and eat my ships up. Haunting Melody. Okay, Unit hole piercer. I didn't use the eat. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. I was scared there for a second. Happiness event in Colony. Proposal from Diana the Thick. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm movement. 
lot of marauders in this area still. We need to clean this up. We need to clean up some of these spots. We're, we're about strong enough to start looking into doing that. But the protectors of these little areas are actually mighty powerful. I mean, there's two stacks here. This is like over 2,000 power. Um, that's pretty strong. That army's not going to cut it. But some of our new stuff, like up here, might be able to do it. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Still a long way to go. Now, you don't have to... You could head out. You could head out and start clearing some of this stuff out. Got a lot of range attackers here, which would be good against these flyers. Um, is there any... Oh, here's another apostate coming in, though. Goodness, there's so many of these stupid apostates. Let's go over to here. And then prepare to actually take this apostate group out next turn so we can leave. And we do need to think about trying to take out the Tower of Trials. But we're going to need a strong army. So we're going to need something like this kind of thing to take it out. Um, this army is close to being strong enough. But we do have like... You know, we probably would need a couple wreckers in here instead of some of these other things or something. Because this is a gold site. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be some kind of BS dark stuff going on too all the time. So what do we have here? A scout? What was I doing with this scout? Oh yeah, watching out for what's-his-face coming in. So let's go up to back up to... Oh shit, he's got more units coming. Oh my god, okay. Well, now he's bringing his full power to bear. I thought before, I thought that was what he had. But I guess he's got a lot more. He's got Transcendence. Modded to do... take Not, not take any damage. More of these frenzied that he spent way too much Cosmite on. Hive-minded purifier. All right, this this unit's a little alarming. Uh, <laughs> 74 health with four armor. Um, that's a little bit dangerous. We've got hidden that are gonna do big, big damage. Three armor and 45. 45 health isn't fantastic. Three armor is pretty good. So yeah, we do have to be careful here, but this army plus the militia is not going down to this. I don't care what you think. These these three groups here cannot take this out. What I do need to think about doing is researching some of those like a, a big AOE battlefield wide effects. Uh, we need a tactical operation for the whole fight. Uh, all mindless, mindless enemy. Uh, starting again. all non-mindless enemy units have a chance to become catatonic for one turn. On failure, they suffer broken mind. So that's pretty cool. That could make a whole bunch of the enemies all do nothing. I mean, it's not as good as making them all insane so they hit each other, but uh, that's pretty good. And at least the failure still gives them broken mind. We can catalyze. Uh, capitalize on that with our sort of um, evil units that sort of use that unhappiness to, to get benefits out of it. So we can definitely build around that. So that might be something we want to grab eventually. Do we have something here? Disables one unit mod on all enemy units for two turns. It's pretty. That's pretty neat. 69 turns to do that one. That's pretty nice. You just wait there, please. Opal Dome can annex another sector. We've got our two Cosmite, or our two Aqua with a Cosmite. We want to grab, like, um, this one. Or this one. That one sucks. This one. So we don't have anything to do with this city yet until we can get somebody down here to clear stuff or if we can get shantytown but that's probably you know we're only at friendship with them integration is a ways off 35 we would get 10 for the purchase of say a helicopter or a melter we would need to buy three of these and then one of these to get to integration which is just kind of a long way away so let's Let's not bother with that. Operation ready is energy siphon. Do we have primed and ready? Do we have one going? Or was this our first one we queued up? In a few turns, the energy siphon will be transmitted to us. 
five turns. That's not a few. Okay, hopefully they don't discover that. And in the meantime, we can re that one up. We want to do that for the Imperial Renown. Research taps. This steals their research. That's pretty good as well. Let me queue up some of these things. So we got one of five successfully launched, giving us a hundred. So we can unlock some stuff now, like the color. The psionic damage. I wonder if that's something we can make use of. 400 for these is a lot. Biospore proliferation resurrects target friendly biological or cyborg unit. It also grants 15 HP. That's interesting. Can be applied to a biological cyborg and mechanical units. Okay. I'm interested in seeing if I can make use of this color. Uh, let's buy that and let's see if there's some interesting way we can actually build that up to do something. So let's go into military find the color which is always going to be somewhere where i can't find it so at the top it's great <laughs> so it's pretty costly just to build one with no mods 440 production 125 energy and 25 cosmite is that's kind of a lot just for it to exist but it is a strong unit it's a scary unit you see these things coming and you have to sort of focus them down they have arc weakness so we can get a few things here Firearms and melee weapons have a chance to apply hallucinating. So we have a melee psionic. This is psionic. And that's a ranged psionic. Target corpse explodes. But it is it is a repeating... Oh, on kill it heals. So that is something it could do. It can't teleport or anything. That would be really cool. This is pretty interesting here to be able to, to mitigate its kinetic or uh, arc resistance. Sorry, weakness, give it another point of shield, and also it can now get a little closer and do damage to stuff. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, dark Mark of the Dark Sun would make it do a lot of damage. Let's just put these things on here. Let's see how it goes. This is going to be a very expensive unit, but we just need to make one and see how it goes. So this is, um, this is like... Nightmare device. Div <sighs> there we go. There's not enough characters. There we go. Nightmare device. Fun. I love designing units. Okay, HR block is building a wrecker and then a sniper. And then we'll probably pop a nightmare device in there. I love that <laughs> I love that symbol for mods. So funny. Alright, let's uh in turn. What is this? Oh, apostates. Right, right, right. I came over here for this specific reason to hunt them down, and yet they came to me. So let's auto this, and we didn't lose anything. We didn't even take any damage on our regular units, which is fantastic. 60 energy, 48 science. We're getting so much free resources from stuff. I'm glad I put these doctrines on. This was the right decision. Oh, I still have that one that... Oh, God. What the hell is this? How did they sneak? Where where did these ones come from? Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go deal with that. Uh, crap. Where are they? They're they're down here in D D Dinklewood or whatever. Uh, um, there's still five of them left. They weren't even close. Okay, so let's let's uh, we can hit them. We can hit them this turn with Father Bill. Get him, Father Bill. Auto combat. Damn it, my fart. All right, let's try this manually. Gosh darn apostates. Three black guards. Well, I hope I have some arc weaponry with me. Uh, of course I don't. Why would I ever have the right tools for the job? I have a rocket though. Ooh, we can already hit them. All right, so let's just kind of get like Father Bill is a close range unit. He's not like swimming in defenses, but he does have 70 health. So let's get Father Bill up to here. I think is fine. Mr. Fart, you're gonna go over to here and then we're just gonna 
position these guys in a way that they can kind of pop out and do some damage. These two are relative, actually quite tanky for a tier one, my god. I might put one, oh, we got the Chaos Witch, and this one has an AoE, no it doesn't. My cat is screaming for some reason right now. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with my cat's sound make. Oh my god, <laughs> why are you yelling? All right, let's flank, and we'll just stick the golem in the middle here. It's kind of a hybrid unit. Okay, can't see what happened, but I assume it was bad. Okay, that's fine. Damn, immobilized and they took huge damage. Okay, not immobilized. That was the chaos thing that gave him a random debuff. Operations ready. I mean, that was bad, but honestly, I'm not sure if it was any worse than anything else they could have done. A decent, pretty nice chance to hit here. Uh, is that even worth it? Overwatch, that's not gonna help. So maybe we, we're, we're currently in, may, so we're in range to get opportunity. Can we hit both of these? We can hit Father Bill. How do we, how do we fix this? This this is a single shot. So if we if we just hit here, energy drain is good. Oh, I see they're they they they're aware of my my sneaking and they're coming around to to try to fight back. So sh we could go to here and shotgun. There we go. Okay, so this one's this one's essentially dead. It's gonna come over, maybe do some. Okay, now my other cat is yelling. Can you hear that? Calvin, I named a city after you, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what that sound means, but <laughs> here we are. You want to be on YouTube all the time, don't you, Calvin? Nice flanking shot here. Bam. Okay. Can Father Bill finish this guy off. Yes, he can. No! Okay, he stunned himself, though. Uh, <laughs> so, do we want to try to get... Like, if we go to here, we could probably fart blast... Yeah, both of these. That was fairly effective. We still got kind of a lot going on here. Can we... Can we arc discharge in a meaningful way that would kill one of them off and do, like, a tiny bit of damage? But this one's stunned. But isn't it good? Does it get its action points back on its turn or not? I literally do not remember how that works. Maybe we just arc discharge it and not have to think about it. This one has full action points, so it's a danger, probably to Father Bill. This one's a danger. Yeah, they could kill off this unit pretty easily. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about it, though. Okay, they're going for Father Bill. No, they're going for my Shredder guys. Darn. Catatonic, that's bad. That's guy's gonna use his range attack, I guess. It is pretty strong. We have two units right here. Uh, we could blast with this thing. Do that. So we've got a little bit of entropic decay. That's a dot, right? That's the one that does three damage. Yes. Uh, you are catatonic, which sucks. Hmm. You have a missile, but it doesn't stagger. We can kill this one, but then we oh, get taken Overwatch. We can shoot this one, and then we take two Overwatches. So what do we do here? Let's start over here. This seems like a no-brainer to just kill this guy off. What's this ability? Repurpose corpse. Yeah. Enemy down. All right, so our flanking force alpha has succeeded in their mission. Flanking force beta, let's go in and uh, 
interrupt this witch here, I think, is a great use of our time. We're healing a buttload. We got her staggered. She's now locked in melee. This one's catatonic, is therefore useless. Let's check the Embrace of Darkness. Can kill that one off. Enemy terminated. So now Father Bill could broken mind this one and heal and then take Overwatch back for like 10 damage. But this is a net 10 damage, so let's do that. Yep. Oh, stunned itself. Excellent. And you're catatonic, so we're going to run you back to here. And end turn. Okay, it got smacked, so she's only got one action point, which is great. 11 damage isn't going to cut it. Heal up a bit. This one is dead. That one's dead to right. So let's actually have this one go and consume a corpse. Might as well heal up for free. And then over here we have... This one can actually heal itself as well. So we put this mod on it, which is excellent. Our forces are victorious. All right. That was actually really fun. That was a fun fight. It's harder than I thought. I mean, I, they didn't even have one of their units, and we and we still kind of struggled. We even lost our uh, small scratch. I guess we have to replace him with something better, like this thing. Okay, now this army can go off and do something. We have quests to be working on that I've just completely, like, forgotten about, to be honest. You probably can't even get there in time. Oh, maybe you can. Well, let's work on that. Maybe we can get there. Production HNR ready. block produced a wrecker. We've got a wrecker and a, and a really nice phase shot sniper here. This guy's going to be a big pain in the butt for enemies. Long range, bleeding, and can shoot through terrain and other units. Bypass a shield. This is such a great mod for snipers. Actually, maybe it's also great for troopers and all sorts of stuff. Fantastic mod. Um, the Devar have a defensive version of this. You can use either one. This one's more offensive, and there's another one that's more defensive. It gives a shield point and something else. Maybe some kind of sensory power? I can't remember. Ah, uh, we can move faster on roads. That explains that. Okay, perfect. Adaptive systems. We got deploy constrictor. That's a useful one. Upgrade father bill is level 6. Range specialist. Vitality. Uh, Sierra has flanker, only 25% more damage when flanking. That's possibly something we could make use of, actually. He is a shotgun guy. He's supposed to run in, get close. He's got mods for that. Um, blast somebody in the back with the shotgun. It'd be pretty fun. Go ahead and confirm this movement here. We are almost out of time for this episode, so let's just get a couple Production of things way. done here, and then we'll... We'll call it. Uh, let's put you together, and then we might actually head up and go on the offense. Now, they had a lot more troops coming, but I don't think any group of them can handle this stack, which is now quite strong. We've got two electrocutioners, which do pretty big damage, honestly, for repeating. They can stun uh, electrified, and they can... No, they don't stun. There is one for that, but we don't have it yet. At least I don't think we do. No. We have these two wreckers, which are just, just disgustingly strong. They heal themselves. They've got a lot of defense, a lot of health. Um, they do a ton of damage, and they come back to life. And then we have a sniper. This is one of the annoying ones that's going to be able to pick off high-value targets from a very long range, keep itself safe. And, of course, Gertie Badger, who's actually quite powerful. She doesn't have crazy defenses. She doesn't have enough defense mods here. We might need to think about doing that. What's this one do? Uh, boost damage. We might want something defensive for her now that I look at this. We've got stuff like arc retaliation defense, but she's a little bit more of a long range unit. Cloaking implants 20% harder to hit with all attacks and plus two shield. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. I like the idea of her not, not being hit by stuff. And then let's move out. This is a citizen for our city. Go ahead and let them retreat. Free citizen. Uh, I found him. 
Now, I kind of have to attack them here. Because otherwise, they just bypass me and take my city. Which is dumb, and then I have to take it back. So I kind of have to attack them here. So I guess I'll be doing that in the next episode. So let's call this one here. And then we will come back to this combat. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. And I will see you in the next episode.